are going to speak to us tonight. Look at somebody tell them, God got a word for you. Hallelujah. Everything going to pass away but the word. Heaven and earth shall pass away. But that word going to endure forever. One thing that's settled in heaven is his word. It's settled in heaven. And I bless God for that. The book of Matthew chapter 16. Book of Matthew, chapter 16. Mm -hmm. That should be easy to find. It should be. I'm going to give you time to find it. If you, now, if you've been in church a while, you should know what Matthew is. You should flip it at so quick. Now, if you knew, I understand I give you uh, grace. But ain't no mercy for those who have been saved. <laughs> In church almost all your life and still looking on the concordance for Matthew. What's it at? No, come on, get to this altar. <laughs> Matthew, book of Matthew. I'll give you time to find it. Time up. Let's go. Matthew 16, verse 13 down to 18. Got it? When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that you are John the Baptist. Some say you are Elias. Others, Jeremiah. Or one of the prophets. He said, I understand what they say. I understand what they think of me. But you my disciples. But whom say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, what did he say? Thou art the Christ, <laughs> the son of the living God. I, I like when he said the son. He didn't say a son. He said the son. When you see the word the, that means the only one. Come on, so the only begotten. See, that's what the son means. It means the only begotten son of God. You are the capital the S-O-N, son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Blessed art thou, Simon boy Jonah. For seminary didn't reveal this to you. <laughs> School of Divinity didn't reveal this to you. Your, 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 your college courses didn't reveal this to you, Peter. Flesh and blood had not revealed it unto you. But my Father, which is in heaven. In other words, my Father revealed to you who I am. And the Bible said in verse 18, And I say also unto you that thou art Peter, and upon this rock, upon this rock, what rock? The rock is the revelation. What's the revelation? That Jesus is the Son of God. Upon this rock, upon this revelation, I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. Verse 19. And I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever, what is good news to me, whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Look at verse 18 again. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter. And upon this rock I will build my church. And the gates of hell shall not what? Against it. It. I like when they said it because there's only one church. It didn't say prevail against them. It said prevail against it. 
whether you Baptist, whether you Pentecostal, whether you holiness, whatever you say you are, God said it's just one church. Y'all hear me? One Lord, one faith, one baptism. He said it shall not prevail against it. Tell you something. Let's tell somebody. Satan can't prevail against this rock. Tell somebody else. Satan can't prevail against this rock. Come on, give God some praise. And yeah. I, I like it the way Jesus came here and he was talking to his disciples that had been with him for a while. And he was questioning them about his identity. Amen. Who do you, what have you heard? What have you heard about me? What are the rumors that is spreading outside there about who I am? And they begin to tell him, people, Jesus, they send you all kinds of folk. You John the Baptist. You Jeremiah. You Elias. You know, folks talk about you. When you are anointed, let me tell you something. The anointing do not protect you from rumors. Actually, the anointing exposes you to rumors. Y'all quiet on me. When you are anointed, your outside, not the inner circle, the outside talks. But the inner circle sometimes hears it. Y'all got quiet on me. Y'all don't understand what I'm saying. Sometimes the monk, amongst the preachers in a circle, they sometimes hear what folks say about him on the outside. And so Jesus is asking his inner circle, what are they saying about me or who I am on the outside? And for them to give him an answer, they really was listening. Come on, somebody. They, they was listening. I heard what they said about you. I, I, they, 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 get, they got you mixed up, Jesus. Come on. They got you mixed up. They, they, they think of you, John the Baptist, but he was the forerunner. They think you, Jeremiah, but Jeremiah been dead a long time ago. Come on, somebody. Thank you, Elijah, but Elijah was caught up in the whirlwind. But I want to know who do you say that I am? Because I believe that as you keep walking with God, you're going to have to find out for yourself who he is. Because, you know, growing up, we always knew who God was according to grandmother, according to granddaddy. Granddaddy said he's an old time God, son. Huh? Mama, mama tell you, grandmama tell you when I think about this goodness of Jesus and all it done for me. Uh, oh, it makes me want to holler. Make me want to shout. Oh, daddy told you how good he was, didn't he? But when you grow up in Christ, you got to learn who he is for yourself. Daddy told you he was a savior. Mama told you he was a Lord. Oh, but when you start growing up in Christ for yourself, now he's going to ask you, who do you say? My God, some of y'all better wake up in here. My God, I'm going to ask y'all, who do you say that he is tonight? He's more than a prophet. He was more than a good man that came on the scene. Y'all quiet here. He, he was more than just somebody came and died for his people and you never heard of him again. He was more than that. He was the Messiah. Hallelujah. He was God's Christ. My God. Uh, and so he said, I, I want to ask y'all. He said, uh, who do you who do you say that I am? But somebody out of the bunch stood up and spoke a word and said, I, I know, I know who you are. My God, I, I, I know who you are. And, and what I like about this, because see, in order for you to know who Jesus is, he has to be revealed. Let me tell you, Jesus cannot be explained, but he must be revealed. Lord, I can't tell nobody here. You, you just can't explain him to me. You got to reveal. God got to reveal him to you. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Paul said he revealed his son in me. God got to be revealed.
built to you. It's good to go to seminary and all these schools, but when God is revealed to you, it's going to come by divine revelation. Can I get a witness up in Lord have mercy? Let me tell you, the only way God can reveal himself to you, it's got to be by way of the Holy Ghost. He said, for the natural man receiveth not the things of God, for they are spiritually discerned. But he said, but look, the Spirit revealeth the deep things of God. Because it's the Spirit of the Holy Ghost that searches the mind of God. And so what's in the mind of God? The mind of in, in the mind of God is Jesus. Lord have mercy. The divinity of Jesus is in the mind of God. Lord have mercy. The Christ, the power, the character, the name of who he is, hallelujah, is in the mind of God. And when God decides to reveal his mind to you, he's going to reveal the son. Lord, I can't hear nobody. Y'all got quiet on me here. And, and so my question to y'all in here who do you say that he is because the bible said no man call it jesus a curse my god but he said no man call it jesus lord say but by the spirit of god lord y'all hear me you can't say that he's lord and you mean it without the spirit lord have mercy the spirit will prompt you to say that he is lord that's when a person gets saved and they and they call on the name of the lord it's the holy ghost in them y'all hear me hallelujah it's the holy ghost when paul was knocked off his horse blinded by the light he said lord who art thou it was the holy ghost by god that inspired him to say lord my God will you ever have an experience with who he is it's no problem calling his name I can't hear nobody here when you really know who he is when you really been revealed when God has revealed to you who he is it's no problem calling his name when sickness come on your body because you know who he is Lord I can't get nobody when, when, when God has revealed to you who he is it's no problem calling on the name of Jesus when all hell is breaking loose in your house oh can I get a witness when you, you really know who he is because because this is a rock, my God, this rock, this revelation of who Jesus is gives me the victory over Satan. The Bible said, who is he that overcometh the world? But he that believeth that Jesus is the Son of God. Oh yeah, I ain't getting no help here today. Who is he that overcome demons and overcome serpents and scorpions? It's he that know who Jesus is. Oh, y'all better hear me. I believe in the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, and I believe that they're one. But what I like about it, God never confused us with who they are. God have mercy. I know the Father, and I know the Son, and I know the Holy Ghost. Because in the Godhead, all three have different works and functions that they have to operate in. I can't hear nobody here now. It's the Father of creation, the Son of redemption, and the Holy Ghost is what draw men to Christ. Lord, I can't hear nobody. He said, I sent the comforter down, and he's going to lead you to all truth. Watch this. He said, I'm going to lead the Holy Ghost. It's going to lead you to all truth. Well, wait a minute. Jesus said, I'm the way, I am the light, and I am the truth. So the Holy Ghost is going to lead you to truth. It's gonna lead you to Jesus. Can I go oh, shut up? Lord my God, when you come to a meeting like this, the Holy Ghost uh, is going to point you to Jesus. Uh, I just want to lift your hands in here and give God some real sanctified praise. Ah, who do you say? Who do you say that I am? Who do you say that I am? I am, I am that I am. Who is I am that I am? God is I am that I am. My God, I am He, God, God, that was dead, but I live it forevermore. And I have the keys to the, the death and hell. My God, who is He? I am. Who do men say that I am? Who do men say that I am? I am is God, my God. But who do men say that I am? No. I'm tired of here now. He is God, but who do men say that I 
am. Cause see, when you don't know Jesus, you put him, you put him on a level that he's not on. When you don't know the I am, you don't know him to be who he is. When you don't know him, you only know him just to be a way maker. You only know him to be a knee supplier. You only know him to, amen, to heal your body. But when you know him as I am, you know him as a deliverer. You know him as a savior. You know him, like y'all got quiet here. Yeah. Because the I am came more to do than say, pay your bills. Huh? The I am came to deliver you huh, from your sin. Y'all got quiet. I wish I had a sanctified child today. Oh God, I just, I'm looking on this left side, I'm trying to figure out on my right side too, do y'all really know who the I am is? Ah, oh, Lord, do you know who the I am is? Hey God, if you know who he is, then something gonna change in your life. When you know who the I am is, then hell can't have his way in your life. Oh, y'all better hear what I'm saying. He that the gates of hell should not prevail. When you know who Jesus is, Satan can't prevail against you. It's not that he won't come against you, but I come to tell somebody, he cannot prevail. I, I, I don't care what he's doing to you right now. I, I don't care how you feel it in your body. I don't care what the devil told you. The devil telling folks he gonna kill you. You gonna die soon, and and you gonna live to see your next birthday and all this stuff. But I come to tell somebody when you know Jesus, I, you can reverse the curse and the lies of the enemy. Can I get a witness in here now? I, you gotta tell the devil I shall live and not die, I, and I will declare the works of the Lord I, in the land of the living. Can I get somebody here that still believe that he is? the son of God and because he live I can face tomorrow y'all gotta pray for me tonight because I just feel like somebody gotta know who he is y'all better hear me he's more of yes he is a lily in the valley yes he is my God the bright and morning star uh -huh. yes he is the alpha and omega he is the beginning and the end but I know him deeper than that my God his name is Jesus y'all better lift your hands and give God the praise his name is Jesus and upon this rock my God Satan can't prevail against this rock he can't prevail against this revelation he can't prevail against the son of God up in my life can I get somebody here to believe that Satan can't prevail my God some of us outlive the time that Satan said you was going to die so y'all better hear what I'm saying because according to Satan you should be dead right now according to the doctors your, sh your funeral should have been planned and over with you should be already six feet in the ground and decaying oh, but because the gates of hell didn't prevail God, I'm walking above the grave they tried to prematurely put me in can I get a witness in here now my God, y'all better lift your hands and give God some praise in the ear. Some of y'all don't really understand what I'm talking about. Because of the Son of God, I got some victory. I walk in power. I walk in anointing. I walk over sickness and diseases. And some of y'all better start taking some authority over your physical body. And stop just talking about how bad it is. And start taking some authority. Ha, over your body come on somebody here ha, you better lift your hands and give God the praise ha, some days I wouldn't even talk about how bad I feel ha, I'm gonna put it on the blood come on somebody ha, I'm trying to figure out how many saved and sanctified ha, and filled with the Holy Ghost saints do we have because if you got the Holy Ghost you got power ha, and he's I'm giving you power over all manner of sickness ha, and all manner of diseases ha, and all manners of evil spirits you got some power tonight and somebody got to stand up on this rock I got to stand and I refuse to be moved come on give God some praise in here if y'all believe in God tonight yes Lord the church will survive the body of Christ we're going to survive I hear the Lord saying listen he said not only will the church survive but the Lord said the anointing in the churches is going to survive 
Oh, oh y'all hear me now? I said it's going to survive. See what Satan is trying to do now. The devil is clever. Y'all better hear me now. The devil is clever. Because the enemy know around this time that Satan has wore out a lot of the saints from really going to church. And the enemy know the doors of the church is going to be open. It's going to be open soon. So what Satan said I'm going to do, I'm going to rub them out before the church doors open back up. And so when I open the doors again, they won't have no strength when they go in. The doors are open, but the people ain't ready. Y'all better hear what I'm shocked at. The doors have opened up in the church again, but the people came back drained. They came back worn out. They came back defeated. They came back dry. Y'all better hear what I'm saying, the reason why. They came back dry and weak because they weren't standing on the rock of the Son of God. Y'all better hear me. Y'all better lift your hands in here and give God some praise. God have mercy. Now the doors are open. But you see less folks going to church again. The doors are open. But you see less salvation and less deliverance now. Because the people have been worn out. They are allowed Satan to wear them out. But I don't know about y'all. In the midst of all of this, my feet was planted upon the foundation. And because I was on that foundation, the gates of hell didn't prevail. Ha. It didn't prevail to make me backslide. Ha. It didn't prevail to make me weak. Ha. But I, I, I stood ha. upon that rock. Ha. Could I get somebody ha. that believe it? Oh God, I didn't need nobody to tell me who he was in the times of this pandemic. Let's thank God for the church doors being open. But even when the church doors was closed, I still knew who he was. Come on. I still knew who he was when I prayed. I still knew who he was when we was at home when the church doors was closed. I still knew who he was. How do you know you knew who he was? Because I knew how to pray to him. I knew how to get down on my knees and pray that God heal the land. God heal this church. Heal the church. Heal the body of Christ. Because the gates of hell was trying to prevail. And it's still prevailing right now. Oh, I hear the Lord saying today, as preachers and pastors, we got to get back on that rock again. We got to stand on that rock. And don't be afraid to open them doors. Because I believe the gates of hell should not prevail against a church that's standing upon this rock. My God. Y'all better hear me. It ain't going to work. Come on, somebody. Brother Rose, listen, brothers. Brother Trey ain't going to work. No weapon going to work. He can throw everything he can at the church. But the church is going to survive. I can't go on shot. I'm looking out through the audience tonight. I'm trying to figure out how much damage have you allowed this pandemic to do to your spirit. How much damage, how much weakness have festered inside of you. How much strength has been corroded in you. I can't hear the whole shot. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. But I believe that Satan can't prevail against the rock. Y'all better lift your hands in here and give God the praise. I still got my praise. I still got my hallelujah. I still got my anointing. I still got my Lord. Then let it prevail. Oh Lord Jesus, my God, a church. That is when I say a church, I'm not talking about this building. Because God said to Paul to tell the brethren, He said, Feed the church of God, which was purchased by my blood. He didn't purchase a building by his blood. He church, he purchased you by his blood. Y'all got cry. I am the church, my God. I am the one he called out. You are the church. You've been 
purchased by the blood of Jesus. Uh, and if you've been purchased by the blood of Jesus, uh, I wouldn't let no spirit pull me out of church uh, while I was in the church. Uh, I wouldn't let no spirit uh, water me down. Uh, y'all got quiet. Y'all better hear me. Because uh, when you build up on the rock, uh, you ain't got no time for no personal feelings. Uh, and ain't letting me do this. Uh, and I can't wait a minute. Listen, uh, ain't about you, baby. Uh, it's about these demons trying to kill you. Uh, why about shut up? Instead of trying to run into a position, what you run into the name of the Lord, what you run into safety, what you run under the blood, so God can spare your life. But I guess I have shot time, but I guess somebody that believes God. Oh God, I'm a Can I get somebody to lift your hands in here and tell the Lord, thank you for this rock. Thank you for this rock I'm standing on. Oh, when the devil come up against me, because he do come. When he see that rock first lady, there's so much he can do. When he see Jesus over my life, there's so much he can do. Oh, that devil try to come and steal that anointing. He can't really take it at all. But I'm covered by the blood. When he come to take your joy, he can't take it at all. But I'm covered by the blood. But I get somebody here that believe Jesus, that believe a rock, that believe the salvation of a rock. God, they can prevail against this rock. If your church is built upon who he is, if the foundation, if you're built upon the upon the foundation of the apostles and the prophets and Jesus Christ, the chief cornerstone, then your, your ministry can't crumble. As long as the cornerstone is in the ministry. I ain't talking about no preacher either. The bishop ain't the cornerstone. The apostle is not the cornerstone. The prophet is not the cornerstone uh, but Jesus is the cornerstone because uh, it's the cornerstone y'all uh, that the whole building rests on uh, you remove that cornerstone it crumbles uh, I gotta keep that cornerstone sister Linda uh, I gotta keep it at the foundation uh, I gotta tell you that Jesus said uh, I gotta tell you that he is Lord uh, I gotta tell you he is Christ uh, God made that same Jesus uh, whom you crucified uh, for the Lord uh, they cry! They cry! Oh God, that's, that's what I gotta build it on. I can't build it on personality. I can't build it on feelings and emotions. I gotta build it on Jesus. Oh, I love it, sister first lady. Because nobody made me the pastor of this church. God voted me in. And only y'all voted me in. It's the cornerstone. Say, come on. And stand on this foundation. Because if you vote me in, you can vote me out. Only one that voted me in was God himself. When he looked around and said, who can I, who can I get to vote with me concerning him? I couldn't find nobody. So he swore by himself. That's my man. Uh, that's my woman uh, cause they built up on uh, the side of the rock. Oh, I feel something it's about to shake up in this house uh, I feel it in the name of Jesus uh, y'all better lift your hands and give God the praise uh, but I feel something about to move uh, up in this house in here uh, you've never been out in the church for a long time uh, you've been out in the body of Christ for a long time he been after these members for a long time. Any pastor that got members, he been after your members a long time. Y'all better hear what I'm talking about. He's after your church. He's after your us. He's after your first lady. He's after your husband. He out to get your children. But somebody gotta have a strong enough foundation. When he do try to prevail, he won't be successful. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. I don't believe they know that. I don't believe they believe that. He's after somebody. He's after me. He's after my breath. He's after my heart. He's after my strength. He's after everybody got praise. A praise in your mouth. But I 
told the devil, I tell him every day, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. In other words, God is saying to us, there are weapons formed against you. There are many weapons formed against you. But none of those weapons going to prosper. Because we the church. And we ain't going to work until the horn blew. We the church. You can't wipe us off the map. We got no going state. I can't feel nobody here. You can't erase us out. We gonna stay here. Did God take us up out of here? But I get a witness here. Why could I be so sure? Because I'm built on a solid foundation. Yeah. Y'all better hear me now. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I speak that over your life tonight. Every word that risen up against you in judgment. He said you shall condemn it. I gave the church power to condemn it. He said I gave the church power to break down every word. To break down every word that's been prayer. And every prayer that's been spoken against you. You got the power to break it down. You got the power to speak it to the heavenly. And command that prayer not to work. You foul spirit of death. I cancel your assignment. You gotta tell that devil. Every spirit of death. That's on my husband. That's coming from my wife. I been broken now. I cancel your shot. I cancel it out. Uh huh. Y'all pray for me because some of y'all gotta understand this. Sometimes we can be so witchcraft conscious until we're not taking authority over it. But I can feel that spirit up in here now. I can feel the spirit of witchcraft. But I heard the word of God tell me you can't curse what God is blessed. I can hop a shot. How do I know I'm blessed? Because Jesus, the Bible said, He sent His Son to bless us. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. He sent Him to bless me. And you can't curse what God is blessed. You can't curse me. You can't curse my life. You can't curse my family. You can't curse my health. Because I'm built. Some of y'all better hear me. I'm built up on it. Y'all better hear me tonight. Who do you say that I am? Because by you saying who he is means everything. Hallelujah. It means everything, Brother Robert. I got to know who he is. When I go to sleep at night, I got to know who he is. Because when you Holy Ghost filled and you really spiritual, you will understand there's a war going on at night. You can feel a war going on at night. Sometimes you can feel like your spirit is singing out your body. Why? Because there's a war going on at night. You can feel yourself about to come about your body. Because death has come around your bed. Trying to claim you before your time. But I, I got angels. I got angels. I got angels that's covering my life. While I'm asleep, they fighting for me. While I'm waking up, they fighting for me. Through the daytime, they fight. Y'all, it's a walk going on at night. You can feel something ain't right. You can feel a battle going on at night. And this devil wait till you go to sleep. It waits till you're going dozing off. See, some of y'all don't know what I'm talking about because you're playing with them. See, you're playing with them. That's why you don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, you're not playing with Satan. Oh, you're not playing with demons. They're going to meet you right where you are. And can I give you a word from the Lord? The Lord said to me, I've just heard this in the spirit. He said, the reason why the devil's fighting saints in the bed. He said, because I see your bed as the same image of a coffin. He see you lying in the image of death. And by him showing up, he wishes he can get you. He wish you could stay like that. I wish I could shut his mouth. I wish I could shut him out. He's in the image of it. I got to get to him. But when I see the blood, he got to pass by. Y'all better see what I'm saying. You can't kill me, devil. I got the blood on my sleep. I got the blood. 
Y'all quiet on me tonight? That devil wants us dead. He wants you to stay in that image of death. Oh, but I hear the Lord saying today, somebody got to get back on that fiery line again. You got to get back to Pentecost. Bump that line. Y'all too emotional. Oh, you quiet. You foul spirit of Lucy. But let me tell you something. This anointing come with emotion. If somebody when an anointing hits your life, it make you feel good, don't it? It make you feel that authority on your life. When an anointing hits your life, baby, sometimes you laugh. Sometimes you cry. Sometimes you jump. Sometimes you holler. I can't get nobody here. But I know what I'm standing on. Look at your neighbor and ask your neighbor. Do you know what I'm standing on? I'm standing on something solid. I'm standing on something that's been tested. I've been tested through the time. They have never let me down. Can I get somebody here on the inside tonight? I still believe the solid. It's a solid foundation. If y'all believe it, clap your hands. Yes, Lord. You better hear me tonight. You better stand on that solid rock. Because Satan trying to get us out of here. Remember the Bible said he killed. He killed James with the sword. Then he tried to get Peter next. If I got one of them, I want to get another one. Y'all better hear me. Y'all quiet on me. If I got one out the bunch, I'm going to get the other one. I'm going to tell y'all something, brothers and sisters. Satan had gotten an advantage to take some of my brothers and sisters off this earth before their time. Y'all better hear me now. Because of the lack of knowledge. We destroy for the lack of knowledge. Some of our brothers and sisters have left before their time. And Satan said, if I got them, I'm going to get those that's left. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. But the Bible said they held Peter in prison until the Passover was over. Y'all better hear me. But the Bible said the church heard. They heard. They heard that Peter was on death row. And I can imagine in my mind, first lady, they say we can't let what happened to James happen to Peter. Y'all better hear me. We had our guards down when they took out James. We had our eyes closed when they took out James. We was off our knees when they took out James. We wasn't praying right when they took out James. But not Peter. I ain't gonna take out Peter like this. Church, let's get together and pray. Y'all better hear me. The Bible said they prayed unto God for Peter's deliverance. I come to tell the church it's prayer time now. Time to stop playing these games. Stop, time, time to stop acting like you're weak and you got no faith. Your pastors is on death row. Your ministers is on death row. Your apostles is on death row. The prophets is on death row. I'm trying to find a church that don't mind praying. Trying to find a church that'll get down on their knees and plead the blood. You gotta tell the devil, not my preacher, not my minister, not my first lady, not my members. You ain't gonna take them out. The blood of Jesus. Oh, I ain't got no church in here. I ain't got no church in here. That's really standing on the rock, man. The God standing. The winds may blow. I might move a little bit. But because my foundation's secure, I'm not going nowhere. Because my foundation's secure. Every demon that blow a weapon, I'm not moved by it. But I'm standing on the cornerstone. I can't get away this year. I'm standing, y'all, on a solid rock. I hear the Lord saying the reason why some of y'all, some of y'all got shaken. You took your feet off the solid rock and you put it on your sins. You put it on doubt. You put it on unbelief. But somebody got to stand today. I'm I'm about to when I get through. But somebody, somebody got to climb that 
rock again. Somebody gotta get back up again. Say, Lord, I know you're able to keep me from falling. Lord, help me to stand. Lord, Help me not to be moved. Help me to be steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Y'all got quiet. I can't find no. I can't find nobody here. That's really standing on the rock. That's really standing. Come on here. Lift your hands and give God some sanctified. Pr- Come on, give him some praise. And, uh, somebody got to get back to praying now. Uh, you got to get that prayer chain again. Uh, oh, y'all better hear me now. Uh, when the last time you prayed death off your leaders. Uh, when the last time you prayed death uh, from off your ministers uh, and off your intercessors. Uh, oh, oh, y'all got quiet here now. Uh, I was down talking with uh, I, I was just walking and I heard the Lord tell me. Uh, he said, the church is too weak now uh, to travail for souls again. Uh, I said, what God? He said, the churches have gotten too weak. Remember the Bible said, when Zion travailed, she bring forth children. The Lord said, the churches have gotten too weak to bring in children. And I said, why God? Because they're too busy travailing for themselves. They're too busy trying not to fall into sin. They're too busy getting up and wiping themselves off. They're too busy getting up and falling, getting up and falling. So they can't produce no children. Ha. They can't bring nobody else to Christ. Ha. But they have not fully with themselves. Ha. I come to tell the church. Ha. Time to get back to travail. Get back to praying. Ha. Get back to fasting. Ha. Get back to witnessing. Ha. Y'all better hear me. Ha. Put all your strength on Zion. Ha. Get out the dust Zion. Ha. Put all your strength. I don't think I got. I don't think I'm in the right church. I, I don't think I'm in the right church. We too busy stumbling and falling. We too busy rolling in the sin and rolling in the hay. And nobody else is coming in the church. Only thing you see is us. Cause us too busy about us. We too busy about my sins and about my weakness and about my strength. I can't hear nobody here. Come to the prayer. I just want God to just strengthen me. Cause I want God to just do it again. Wait a minute. How many times God gotta do it again? By now he should have done it. And you should have been doing what he told you to do. Go out to the highways, to the byways, and reel them souls in. I come on a shot. Reel them in from your apartments. Reel them in from the neighborhood. Go downtown and reel them in. I come on a shot. Reel them in. Too busy about us. You know what I heard the Lord say? We, if we ain't travelling, you know what we're doing? We are boarding souls. God says the soul assigned to everybody. You are if you say you got a soul ha, that's assigned to you. Ha, that you gotta bring in. Y'all got quiet. I'm about done when I get through because I think I'm getting on some folks' nerves. But you are signing, baby. You are an assignment to somebody else. You want to lift your hands and give God the praise. Somebody's counting on your hand wave. Somebody's counting on your testimony. Somebody's counting on your salvation. Somebody's counting on your Holy Ghost. They're counting on you to tell them that Jesus saved. Y'all got quiet on me. And I don't care because he's still counting on you. Okay, how quiet you get. God still counting on you to bring souls in the church. The harvest is ripe. The labors are few. What are at church? We got to bring them in. Too busy. Stepping in, stepping out. Stepping on the rock, stepping off. Stepping on the rock, stepping off. Till you can't grab no traction. You ain't got no strength, but I come to tell somebody tonight. We got to get back to that rock again. Oh, the night got to be the night. When you said, I'm in and all this weakness. I'm in and all this struggle. But I'm getting back to where I used to be. I'm getting back to that fiber line. But I heard the song say, Jesus is on the main line. And you got to tell them what you want. Get back on that main line again. Get back on your knees again. And call on the name of Jesus. 
when you call Jesus he'll make it all right when you call on Jesus he'll turn around when you call Jesus he'll heal your body somebody gonna call call on the name some of y'all looking at me like I'm entertaining y'all I come to tell somebody get back up again dust yourself off mend up your wounds get back on the fire line get back out there again lift your hands and tell them yeah do you know who he is do you know who he is? Because when I know who he is, first lady, demons know who I am. Y'all got quiet here now. <laughs> when I know who he is, demons recognize who I am. Because <laughs> Paul, I know. <laughs> Jesus, I know. <laughs> but who are you? <laughs> I come to ask y'all one question. <laughs> if I interview the devil right now, and I'll bring up your name. Will Satan say, who is that? Y'all got quiet here. If I said, Satan, come here, let me talk to you. Because he's going to tell me the truth. When I bring you up, when you think about Sister Sally, who is Sally? Uh, well, when I bring up Brother John, who is Brother John? But when I bring up a prayer warrior, I know who they are. When I bring up somebody that consecrates, I know who they are. I recognize the authority when they step in my presence. I recognize the prayer when they rebuke me. I recognize the voice when they rebuke demons of death from off their children. I recognize your quiet. 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 Why do me? Why? Lord, I'm built on the rock. You're the foundation of making a little. Y'all better hear me tonight. Yes, Lord, thank you. Yes, Lord, thank you. I'm going to tell the ministers and every pastor in this room, you better stand on your post. Because I heard the Lord tell me I was sitting down. The devil trying to assassinate somebody's ministry. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. He's trying to assassinate your anointing. He's trying to assassinate your influence. He want to assassinate your state. That devil want to yoke you up with unbelievers and wear you out. But I come to tell somebody, you got to get with Jesus and declare what he said. I can't hear nobody here. This anointing going to destroy yokes. I can't be bound up with nothing that's going to hinder my anointing. I can't be bound up with nobody that's going to hinder my anointing. I can't run with nobody that's going to hinder my anointing. I can't play with sin. That's going to hinder my anointing. Y'all better hear me. Y'all quiet on this preacher. I guess I got a hangover. I can't hear nobody. But I, I, I can't let them stay it. I can't let them kill it. I can't let them destroy it. This anointing. Because this anointing going to reach the lives. This anointing going to save souls. This anointing going to heal the sick. Going to raise the dead. Going to heal the leper. This anointing. Trying to assassinate your ministry. Because the gates of hell is prevailing because he know you ain't standing on that rock. Because when you stand on that rock, you rock bottom. You rock tough. You ain't yielded. You ain't, I ain't trying to gain comfort with you. Because I recognize you an enemy to this anointing. Hear me. Lord, let me tell you, every, every swing the devil make, he said it's my last attempt. 
And if he don't work that time, he's going to say he's going to do it again. Let me tell you, the devil's swinging another attempt. He's trying to throw another attempt to take your anointing out. He's throwing another attempt to destroy your anointing and to destroy your ministry. Y'all better hear me. It's trying to prevail against that anointing. It's trying to prevail against your power that God has given you. But I come to tell somebody here, don't you compromise your anointing. I don't care if it's your wife. I don't care if it's your husband. I don't care if it's your cousin. Your uncle boo. Bam, bam. And all those folk. You better hold on to your anointing. I got to hold on to my anointing. I got to hold on. I got to hold on to it first later. Y'all better hear me. You can come or go. I'm going to hold on to it. Talk about me. I'm going to hold on to it. Let me preach to the kids. I got to hold on. I got to hold on. Hold. Hold. To that gospel proud. Can't let it go. Come too far. To let it go. Too many trials. To let it go. Talked about too much. To let it go. Cry too many tears. To let it go. Fast it too long. To let it go. Fry too hard. To let it go. I got to sit on that rock. I got to sit on that rock. Can't let it go for us, lady. We got to keep our feet solid. If we got to hold each other like this. Lord have mercy. See, sometimes we got to go in the battle like this. We go in here long, see him coming. But sometimes he's trying to hit your back. And he's trying to hit mine. So we got to turn like this. I fight for you. You fight for me. We yoke together. I'm yoked to her. She yoked to me. And we plan. Come on, somebody. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it. Don't let no love potions move you away from the love of God. Y'all better go shut down. That fell down in my spirit. Ain't no love potions. Ain't strong enough to move me from God. Ain't no bewitchment strong enough to remove me from God. Ain't no spell strong enough to move me away from God. I got power. I got power over all the powers of the enemy. I can tread on scorpions and upon serpents. I can tread upon them. All the powers of the enemy and not to shut my enemies hurt me. But I'm treading every time I preach. I'm treading every time I pray. I'm treading every time I fight. I'm treading. They take me out. It ain't time yet. The devil trying to get some folks anointed. Trying to rob your ministry. But with them potions. Heard the word potion. It came so close to the little love potion. Who is blinding you? Blinding you from that rock. Blinding you from that ministry. Blinding you from that fresh. That fresh anointing. Blinding you from your leaders. Blinding you from your past. Blinding your eyes to your church. That's a, that's a demon. Trying to move you off the rock. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. As long as I stay on Jesus, he can't prevail against me. Y'all but listen, y'all got me at the wrong time. Because some of y'all still sleeping. But I'm getting stronger. As the minute go by, I'm getting stronger. But I can see that devil. I hear the Lord saying to me, y'all better hear me tonight. God said to tell you, 
Don't let one, one touch, don't build your life on one touch. Don't build your foundation on one breaking off you. Break that thing off you, and then I'm good now. God said I broke it off you to give you some space to go and repent. I broke that demon off you so you can get up and change your life. Y'all better hear me now. God said time out for you. Draining the preachers. Time out for you. Killing the preacher. Y'all got quiet here now. Where's your power at? I gave you power. Y'all got quiet on me. I gave you power. In your bedroom. Power. In your living room. Power. On your job. Power. In your child. Power. Power. You don't mind you coming to church. Coming to the front line. Getting that touch. Because you made him believe that it's no threat. Because he saw you come down too many times. Get the same prayer. Get the same bucket. Get the same sheet. And go out and do the same thing. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Where are you going to stand up on this rock? Where are you going to stand and say, wait a minute. I'm not going down like this. No, the devil, not this time. Not this time, devil. You presented before my, oh, not this time. I can't go that way this time. I got to keep going the other way. Why, preacher? Oh, Lord. Because my garment got clean. I heard Sister Linda, I heard the Lord tell me. He said in this hour, the saints, some of the saints have got their garments dirty. God, he said they got their garments dirty. He said, I'm coming back for a church without spot or wrinkle or any blemish. But their garments got spotted. Their garments got wrinkled. Their garments got blemished. And God said, if I was to come back now, I couldn't receive them to myself. Because they touched the unclean thing. How did you know they touched the unclean thing? Look at their garments. Their garments is dirty. Because they touched the wrong thing. God said tonight, if you're going to go back with me, you got to clean them garments. You got to clean your mind up. You got to clean up your spirit. God said, you got to wash yourself. Wash in the blood. The blood of the Lamb. Somebody, Sister Linda, got to go through the wash. They got to go through the rinse. They got to be purified. Say it to the Lord. Lift your hands and take up a shot. They dirty. Their garments are dirty. Cause they ain't been standing. And when the wind blew, the devil been rolling them in the hay. So they've been rolling in the hay. They've been rolling in the bed when folks ain't married too. They've been rolling in oh God. They've been rolling in lasciviousness. They've been rolling in pornography. They've been rolling in perversion, said the Lord. And they got dirty. That's why they got no communion with the saints. Because they got dirty. What fellowship do you have? Does light have with darkness? It's no fellowship. That's why they can't say hello no more. That's why they can't stay around no more. Because your spirit got dirty. But I come to tell somebody. The foundation is still sure. The foundation is still standing. If the foundation be destroyed, where can the righteous stand? I come to tell you, the foundation is not broke down. The foundation is standing up right. Somebody got to come on. Come on in before the rain comes. Come on in before destruction comes. Come on in before judgment comes. Somebody gotta wash up your garment. Wash yourselves. He said they dirty. They dirty. They try to come to the prayer line to get clean, but through the prayer line they get sprinkled. It is a sprinkle for the cleanness of a preacher. He touch it with that cleanness. And then you got 
sprinkled. But God said, you got to wash. Go home and fast. Go home and pray. Turn from your wicked ways. Shut the Lord. And then I will receive you unto myself. That's how you get clean. Stop depending on a man. And you use his word. Use what you've been taught. What have you been taught? What have you been taught? You know what God said? See, I'm tired of people making my preachers look like they ain't teaching them nothing. You living like nobody taught you nothing. Y'all got quiet here now. Living like you don't know what to do after all these years of teaching and study, breaking it down, preaching, praying, teaching, and they living like they don't know what they're doing. And it's a rebuke to, from the enemy towards your leaders. God said, clean your garments up. I don't care how many times you raise your hand. God said, when I raise them, you raise your hands, I see that filth under your arms. When your hands raise me, I see the filth on your hands because you've been touching the unclean thing. When I see you running and shouting, I see the dust from the place you should have been in under your feet. I said, said the Lord. It's time to get back on this rock. That's why Satan's prevailing against you. That's why you're getting sick so much. That's why the devil's fighting your body like he is. Because he's prevailing because you're not on that rock. You're not on you're not standing on the revelation of who he is. The Bible said the Son of God was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Why did not be destroyed in your life? You know what they're doing? The Lord said instead of standing on the rock, they smoke the rock. I don't want to do it. Ugh. I'm not going to repent. Ugh. Instead of standing, you smiting it. Why are you smiting the rock? That same rock will crush you to dust. Why are you smiting something that can crush you? Y'all got quiet on me here. Oh. Lord, have my, listen. I ain't bring no notes tonight. You know why? Because God said, tell them. They got to get back to this rock. They got to get back to Jesus. They got to stand on this shot. Pastors, we got to stand back on this rock. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. Listen, listen here. God said, listen, let me tell you what's happening in the in Christian dome. Ha, the devil's using pastors ha, to fight other preachers. Ha, and we can't get no one like that. Because you baptized like this. And I baptized like that. Ha, and therefore you are the devil. Like, let me tell you something. Ha, the real devil is Satan. I can't hear nobody. Y'all better hear me. Ha, it's time to call the revival. Ha, let's stop being like this we know you need help huh? call some help call somebody that got a devil chasing a naughty call somebody that can see the witches up in your church call somebody that can cast them out yes come on to macedonia we need some help over here we need some help over here. Somebody named Lydia needs your help. There's a demon possessed girl that got divination needs your help. There's a jailer in this family that need to find Jesus in Macedonia. Come on over and help me out. Because you don't baptize like me, I ain't calling you. What? Y'all got quiet on me. Y'all got quiet on me here. Y'all better hear me. I don't bend. I don't bend or break on what I believe. But I know an anointing when I hear it. And I know one when I see it. Y'all better hear what I'm shot. I call that over shot. But I believe there's only one Lord. There's only one faith. <laughs> 
There's only one baptism. And I believe it's Jesus Christ. Y'all better hear what I'm saying. And we got to get back to preaching Jesus again. Got to get back to preaching Jesus. That's the only name Satan recognizes. He don't recognize the name Carl. He don't recognize houses and land. He don't recognize silver and gold. He recognizes Jesus. At that name, he fear and tremble. At the name of Jesus, demons are sent to hell. At the name of Jesus, demons are cast out. At the name of Jesus, the blinded eyes open. At the name of Jesus, the sick get healed. At the name of Jesus, I can't hear nobody. At the name of Jesus, the death is open. At the name of Jesus, the dumb start talking. At the name of Jesus, the walker can't walk. Get out the wheelchair and walk again. Jesus! Upon this rock, I'll build my church. I'll build. That's how you get built. That's how you get built in the spirit by standing on that rock. That's how your faith get built, brother Robert. That's how your faith get built. You gotta keep standing on that Jesus only. Y'all got quiet. You got to stay on them only. You got to recognize who he is. When I say Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, I recognize who he is. I hear that name of Jesus inside of that. Because the fullness of the Godhead bodily, the will it in him, not in them, but the will it in him. All of God, the will in Jesus. All of God's power, the will in Jesus. All of who God is, the will in Jesus. Because Jesus was the express image of God. I can't hear nobody here. No man have saw God at any time. For God sent down Jesus to express his image to man. I can't hear nobody here. That's why I say when you see me, you see the Father. You see the express image of who he is. I can't hear nobody here. You ain't saw him in his glory. But the only begotten son that was in the bosom of the Father declared his glory. I can't hear nobody here. And when they come down to earth in that body of Mary, five physical six body, it was God in the nutshell. I can't hear nobody. God eating the fish that he created. God drinking the water that he made. God healing the bodies that he blew breath in. It was God. Gotta stand on the rock. Some of y'all tired. They still tired from last night. They got that hangover from last Holy Ghost hangover. Listen, I ain't got no hangover. I'm still drunk. Now with that new wine. Now with that wine that they drink every day. And I'm drunk with that new wine rather. Y'all better hear me. I don't know. I'm trying to figure out all you drunk. Because drunk folks don't stand right. Drunk folks don't walk right. Drunk folks act unseemly. I can't hear nobody. But sometimes drunk folks laugh. Well, ain't nothing funny. They cry. Well, ain't nothing to cry about. That's what the Holy Ghost will do to you. I ask you, what's wrong with you, man? I can't explain it. Why the tears in my eyes? What's wrong with you, brother? I can't explain why I'm laughing like this. What is this that make me feel like this? What is this? Turn it all shut I think I got the wrong church tonight. I feel like preaching in here tonight. What is this that make me feel that fire? Like a shot, fire in my belly, fire in my hands, fire in my feet. What is that? It's the Holy Ghost. Nothing but the Holy Ghost. Oh, can I ask y'all a question? What have you done since you left the upper room? My God, what have you accomplished since you spoke in tongues? As the Spirit gave you utterance, what have you accomplished? Could I get a witness here? Well, Peter will tell you the first thing I accomplished. I preached to 5,000 brethren at one time. 
I preached Jesus and him crucified at one time. And I can tell you what I accomplished. They said, men and brethren, what shall we do? They was pricked in their hearts because so much preaching about Jesus. It cut them to the heart. It was your hands. Peter said it was your hands that crucified him. It was your hands that turned him over to Pontius Pilate. It was at your hands. But God didn't let him they let his body see corruption. And they let his soul burn in hell. They let his soul stay in hell. It was this Jesus that David spoke of. My Lord said to the, the Lord, said to my Lord, sit on my right hand. Y'all better hear me. It was Peter told him the knives that you hear coming out that upper room. It was that. That he promised us it's the Holy Ghost fell on the church. I'm trying to figure out what my Pentecost church at. But when you're a Pentecostal church, I some noise will come out that building. The noise will come down your road. The noise will disturb your neighbor. But I get somebody. So what shall we do? Peter stood up and said, listen here. That same Jesus whom you crucified. I'm going to go back here with y'all because they're looking at me. That same Jesus whom you crucified. God has made him both the Lord and Christ. What shall we do, Peter? Peter said, repent. All of y'all repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus for the remission of your sin. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. The promise, the promise is under your children and under them who the Lord God called. I can't hear nobody. The Bible said they were baptized. Calling on the name of the Lord. Can I give a witness in here? Well, I go to Acts chapter 3. I'm going to tell you what they've done since they came out the upper room. Acts chapter 3. Peter and John going into the temple. They saw a lame man there begging for arms. They looked at Peter, expecting Peter to give him something. But Peter looked at him and said, Serving gold, have I none? But such as I have, I give unto you. Rise, rise, rise up and walk in the name of Jesus. And the Bible said, Peter took him by the right hand and his ankles received strength. He began to pray. He began to shout. He began to dance. For the name of Jesus, I can't hear nobody. Can I get somebody here? Can I get somebody that's standing on the rock? I call Jesus. I'm standing on the rock. Well, what else happened, preacher? I heard about Stephen. When they came out the upper room, he preached so much Jesus that they gnawed him with their teeth. They stoned him, crushed his skull, knocked his teeth out, damaged his brain. He still said, Lord, forgive them, Jesus. But they know not what they do. And they looked up to heaven. He saw Jesus. Hallelujah. He saw God sitting at the right hand. And saw the Son standing up at his right hand to receive him out of their sight. I don't know about y'all, but I'm standing. Standing. Cause if I stay, if I stand on the rock, the way Stephen did, he gonna stand for me when it's time to call me home. And I get a witness. If I stand for God, 
Well, I got brother this side. When they call me home, he's not going to send Gabriel. He's not going to send Michael. Jesus is going to stand up. Say, come my people. Can I get a witness? Can I guess y'all got quiet? I think I better go into my seat. Because some of y'all looking at me like you ain't got no Holy Ghost. You're looking at me like you don't know Jesus. You're looking at me. Y'all quiet on me here. Lift your hands and tell them. Here I am, Jesus. Here I am tonight. Send your power down on my soul. Send your anointing on my soul. Revive me one more time. Lord, if you do it again, I'll stay revived. Do it again. I fast a little longer. Do it again. I pray a little harder. Do it again. I shot a little better. Do it, Lord. Do it. Do it right now. Do what Jesus do it. Do what Jesus do it. Somebody got a shot. Somebody got a dance. Somebody got a call. On the name of Jesus. Y'all come on. Shot tight. I shot tight at the mercy. ask y'all a question what's a part of causing the waves to blow the waves to go it's the wind on it when the wind blows the waves start moving can i get a witness i said when the wind blows over the roberts the waves start moving i'm trying to find out where my waves at but i feel a wind in this house but i don't see no waves moving i can't get nobody here well sometimes you got to make the first move. I hear the Lord saying tonight, I'm going to help some of y'all out tonight. When you say I can't feel him, I don't feel the fire, I don't feel the wind. Let me help you out. Sometimes you got to make the first move. Why do I say it? There was an angel that came down at a certain season to stir up the water. And the Bible said the first one that stepped and to the water was healed of their diseases sometimes God is waiting for you to make the first step he's waiting for you to make the first cut he's waiting for you to make the first run he's waiting on you to make the first leap my God is waiting on you to raise the first raise hand he's waiting on somebody to step in step in the night God said I'm here step in the night make the move said the Lord somebody gotta move move from side to side somebody gotta jump till you feel something somebody gotta get out your seat and say Lord I gotta find where your spirit yes Lord Jesus where it's blowing at I come to tell you it's blowing it's blowing down your road what you gonna do about it it's blowing right where you are God said dump God said leap God said move and I guarantee you some power gonna hit your body a couple shot somebody gotta do it come on children clap your hands back there come on children I took a bubble shot Come on, saint. Stand on the rock. Come on, somebody. Somebody. Somebody got to stand. Uh-huh. Standing on this rock. There's an anointing of healing in this room. I feel an anointing of healing. 
Somebody got to step. Somebody got to step in. And you got to do what you do. You got to make that move. Your hands got to go up. Your mouth got to be open. All y'all got quiet here. Oh, somebody got to come on here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Oh, when I hear the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost hear it too. Wherever that name is magnified, the Holy Ghost shows up on the scene. Wherever the name of Jesus Christ is preached, the Holy Ghost shows up on the scene. Come on, somebody open your mouth wide. Open your mouth wide. Come on, open your mouth wide. Yes, Lord, well, I got to take my mask off. Well, take your mask off. And open your mouth and call Jesus. I won't let nothing restrain me. But I got to get something tonight. Y'all better hear me tonight. Ain't no corona in this house. Too much power moving. Yes, it is. Too much power to let a germ kill you. Too much power to let a disease wipe you out. But I'll get somebody. Lift them hands and lie. It's revival. 